Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Easter card for you, actually two, and I'm using this Sizzix die from Tim Holtz, and it is a Thinlitz die, and it's the Bunny Carrot die. I do not know the exact name of it, but it is number 665213, and I'll definitely have all the supplies that I use in today's video listed down below in the description box. So if you want a closer look, at that and the exact names of that you can find the links below so i am just getting out all of the pieces and i'm going to be using my sizzix sidekick machine to cut out all of the pieces now this die set is very detailed there's a lot of small pieces and it can be a little bit overwhelming i guess but once you get into the groove, figure out which pieces you need to cut here, what colors you want to go with, how many of each piece you need to cut, cut out, then it becomes super easy and you get through the process and it's like a puzzle trying to figure out how many you need of what and what colors you need to use here. And you could definitely switch up the colors as well. You will see in the second card that I did that with the ears, I switched up the colors. I only show you the process of cutting for one carrot and one bunny because there is so much detail in this and a lot of the cutting with the Sizzix sidekick machine. So I didn't want to show you that. So again, because if I did, this video would be super long and I just want to show you how to make one of the bunnies. And this is super sped up. So I don't know if you can see the whole process, but again, I didn't want this video to be super long because yeah, it took me a little while to figure out all of the bits and pieces. But yes, it, it was super worth it in the end because these bunnies are super, super cute. And as you're gonna see, I add some ink blending to them and to the carrots to just make them pop a little bit more, make them more vibrant. There is uh, so many different options with these little bunnies. And I have seen people do the most cutest things with these bunnies, adding different outfits to them, different occasions, adding different things into their hands. So don't just think that this is for Easter. I think that this would be a super cute spring card or garden themed card or anything. What can you put into that bunny's hand? So I'm doing a purple carrot for this card. My mother-in-law and father-in-law have a garden at, at a community garden where we live and they grew purple carrots the last season and was so fun my kids had never had purple carrots before and I had never had purple carrots before either so it was so fun to try them out and my oldest actually lost one of his tooth while he was eating a purple carrot and he was so excited because it was wiggly and he lost his tooth on the purple carrot so it's quite a story in our family and so I wanted to go ahead and make this card for him and then the second card is for my mother and father-in-law to celebrate Easter with them and you will see that process here as we keep going along. So now the everything is cut out. I am just getting all of the pieces ready to be assembled and glued down. So I'm using the Barely Art glue and I'm using the fine detail bottle, the small bottle with the fine detail pen, I, or pen, why did I say pen, tip? And it's kind of like a pen of glue. And then I have the bigger, a little bit of a bigger bottle with a different nozzle on it. It comes with several different nozzles. So I just like to have them ready with the different nozzles so that I can grab it for whatever project I need. And then I am using the Marvy Jewel Picker to help me add all of the little itty bitty details on, as you can see, especially the eyes, the mouth, and the ears and its little pink cheeks. So much detail, so fine, but the jewel pick really helped get that on and get the little bits to stick and you could dab it on there with the glue. So now I'm assembling the carrot and adding the different layers. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do some ink blending on the die cuts. 
definitely could have left it, but I wanted to add some color. So first I'm going to be using the Simons' Stamp, or I picked this up from Simons' Stamp. This is the Memento Tuxedo Black Marker, and I just went around the edges to make the designs pop a little bit, and then I just took my finger in the Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink to add some dirt to the carrot like he's just like you've just pulled this carrot out of the ground and it is ready to get cleaned and go and get eaten alrighty and so then I just added some hickory smoke a distress oxide ink to the bunny just to give him a little bit more color and finish him off I definitely could have left it white but I was just having fun playing with the different colors and then I'm doing my background here and creating a little scene for this buddy. So I'm using more Distress Oxide inks to do this. I'm going to do a simple blend just with the blue and then bring in the green to create the grass. And then I will add a finishing touch to the background to bring it all together and blend it a little bit more. So I didn't go for a perfect blend, but I'm going to bring in the Distress Sprayer to add some water droplets. And this kind of helps blend the colors together, brings a little more interest and adds that spring weather vibe. So then for the sentiment, I am using this label maker that is like I've had for a while and I just used Happy Easter, just punched in Happy Easter for my sentiment. You could switch out the sentiment for Happy Spring, Happy Birthday, whatever your occasion that you needed to celebrate, that would be an option. Okay, so now I am just using the Memento Tuxedo black marker again around the bunny just to make him stand out a little bit and not get lost in the background. I do this with my stamped images and I thought that it would be a nice touch to add to these die cut pieces as well. And then I can go ahead and assemble or adhere all of the die cuts to the card, to the card base and get this card done. Using the same glue, the Barely Art glue, and then I'm adding the carrot into his arms. And then once everything is, is adhered down here, I'm going to add one finishing touch and then I will roll right into the second card, create the background, and just add the die cuts that I created off camera. So stick with me to see how I do the second card. Two different looks with the same elements. So now I'm just taking the backing off of that label maker. It's got that. I love this label maker. I don't use it to label really, but it was one I picked up at the thrift store a while back and it's got that vintage vibe and I think it's a really fun element to add to your projects. I need to remember to pull it out more for sure but I really like the simplicity of the sentiment in the card that the sentiment brings and I don't work with die cuts a lot either but I've been slowly trying to collect the die cuts from Tim Holtz and this one was on sale on Amazon a while back so I went ahead and picked it up but anyways, I'm finishing up this card and I'm just adding some pops of color from scrapbook.com over the sentiments to add a little bit of a finishing touch, make the sentiment stand out a little bit more, even more. And then I'm going to add some glitter to the carrot just because I can. So this is the Spectrum Noir glitter marker in the clear. The, it's called the clear overlay. So yes, I'll have all of the supplies listed down below in the description box as well. So just adding the 
that to a few spots on the bunny as well and that is all sparkly and I'll move on to the next card so as you can see I cut out two bunnies for this one I decided to keep them white in this card and I switched out the bunny ears to be blue for this card to distinguish that this one was a boy and the other one was a girl it wasn't really necessary but I thought it was just a fun touch to switch things up a little bit and have fun with the die cutting so I'm just going to add these two bunnies to the background that I already created off camera because it was the same background that you saw in the previous card and then I'm going to overlap the carrot so I decided to do a orange carrot and a purple carrot for this one and then I'm going to adhere those down overlapped and super super cute and then I will do the same thing for the sentiment and the finishing touches let me know in the comments below just for fun if you have tried purple carrots and if you like them or if you prefer orange carrots over those yeah just for fun okay so making sure that all of these details are adhered down these little arms did not want to stay super super fun so now we're going to add the sentiment here is the punch and I'm actually going to show you me punching out the happy Easter sentiment in this clip these are so fun so fun get the sentiment done all right and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it down and then adhere this to the card base again so for this these last couple steps it's the same thing that I did in the first card but you can see how easy it is to create a similar card but add a few different elements in and make a similar but different card at the same time so getting that sentiment down and then we are almost done Easter is coming and I feel like this Easter snuck up on me I do not know why but yes we are preparing for Easter and we are getting the things done and I have a few more Easter projects coming your way so stay tuned I am not done with Easter projects yet so I'm just adding the spectrum nor glitter in as well and then the scrapbook.com pops of color in the same spot as the previous card so a very similar card but very different at the same time by just adding a few elements in here and there now that is going to finish up today's cards and here is a close-up look of the two cards with the glitter and shine as well I love how these two cards turned out and I cannot wait to create some more cards with these bunnies in the future I feel like you're going to see these again I hope that I pull them out again but I love how these cards turned out so thank you so much for watching today's video if you liked it give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more crafty inspiration coming your way bye for now